Yeah, so what you see there is Kotokraba Market. Kotokraba Market is located in the middle of Cape Coast, okay? So that is where you can get everything that you need. At this point on Sundays, you have a lot of people, you know, bringing their goods and services to sell to the people of Cape Coast. And this is the time where others from around uh, Cape Coast also come to purchase what they want because things are a little bit, hey, look forward. Things are a little bit cheap on a Sunday here in Cape Coast. So this is the Kotokraba Market. It's very early in the morning, as you can see, people are now fixing their things to sell. Uh, look at this. I said anything that you want, you're going to get it here. So it's, uh, what's the time? It's 8 o'clock here in Cape Coast. It's a Sunday. Today is a Sunday and it's the market day here in Cape Coast. And I had a phone call that uh, the company that uh, drills the borehole is already waiting for me at a sable. So I had to get up real quick and then meet uh, my partner so that we could go and get things done. So I'm gonna get my partner and then we will go to, this place is really spot, look, congested. I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but why is this guy looking at me? <laughs> and look at these people, they are coming to play uh be preaching the word of god playing loud music and stuff like that so this is kotokraba market so this place is about 20 minutes drive cape coast is about 20 minutes drive to asebu so uh, um head of the street bro so um i'm gonna go meet a brother like i said and then we are meeting Richard. Richard is a brother of mine. We're working together right now. Okay, that is him there. So I'm gonna meet Richard and then we go together. It's a good morning. Yeah, good morning, bro. How are you? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. How are they? Yeah, All right, nice. so. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> Yeah, so there's this uh, quick, uh, should I call it breakfast in town? It's called Coco. Coco, you, you, you easily find it along the street. That is what most people buy early in the morning when they are on the road. I think I've seen, no, that's not Coco. The people who want, who are going to dig the thing, they said uh, I should buy them Coco. Because they don't have, they don't have, they didn't bring food to the, to the farm where they sell that porridge so we're gonna go and get some Yeah, so those guys that are going to fix the thing said, hey, Echo, uh, we didn't buy food when we were going because we left the house very early. So can you buy us porridge and bread? So uh, I'm buying the porridge over there. I'm coming to buy the bread. Yeah. What's your bread? Hey. Huh? Six. Mama, that's in your six. I'm your eight. Yeah. Open. Mm. Okay, so we got the cocoa. That is yeah. that is the porridge and, and bread. bread. Yeah. So sometimes in Ghana, even when you ask or pay someone to work for you, especially with the for the construction thing, they will be asking you for water and for food. They'll be telling you, "Oh, boss, boss, you didn't you didn't get us anything. I think you didn't lock the door." Maybe I did Okay. Can I go down there? Yeah. 
okay so like i'm saying sometimes when you employ people to work for you they will still ask for water ask for food and if you're not careful you will say ah, but i've paid you to work why are you asking me to to give you food to give you water and stuff like that that is the culture man some people to go you be near land or do you go to go home? Hmm, Charlie, I don't even think you're school sister. Teaching, teaching is demand for teaching on what? On what? The same thing you call them. I did, then they didn't go to. Okay, so we have finally landed on a plot uh, for a father or an uncle in the USA, born in, in the Caribbean, Jamaica. So we came to clear the land uh four days ago and then i called on the the what's his name the drilling company and today sunday they are here they called me early in the morning that they have to come and uh do the drilling so as soon as the resources are available when you want me to do something i'll quickly do it now i think we have to attach seriousness to a lot of things so i am here you know within one week we've cleared the land we are drilling the borehole probably within the next week we'll be doing the fence so all of this um, i think i thought this job was that easy but look these are these guys are bringing down all these metals before they start digging wow this is this is difficult man look look wow wow <laughs> this is hard work man it's not easy. Man's got the heat. So this is a one plot uh, demarcated for a Caribbean Jamaican brother, uh, daddy, like I called him. And uh, his plot, it begins from here. It begins from here. So his plot is plot number two. So it goes all the way to, it's a corner plot. So there's the other corner, that is our corner. And then it goes to that plot, that uh, pillow over there, and then this one. So after they did the uh, search and everything, they realized they could get a lot of water here. So uh, yes. <laughs> I'm on site, yes, ready to work. Let's start digging, bro, let's start. Uh, we need water, so okay. 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 Get a different 
color of soil. Every step, they get a different color. So look at where they started from. Brother here is sharing his experience as someone working with this company. He said it is not easy. Look, they have to carry this metal, this heavy thing. I tried carrying it, I couldn't. It's not, it's not easy, man. It's not easy. Like I feel so not so sad, but I feel that there should be a better option for some of these guys, man. They they need to survive. So at this point, uh, we are. We, we are expecting to get water. We've done everything that we have to. So this will give us water. I pray so. Give us water. Give us water. Give us water. Let's get water, man. What is it? I think this time it is. It is. It is. Uh, digging through the the rocks. So the guy told me where he got you to dig the rocks. So this point we are supposed to get water coming up.
so that is the person's blood. Okay, and then uh, the next thing was I brought the bulldozer to come and clear this whole place. So we did it on, I think, Monday or so, or Tuesday, one of it. And then today, Sunday, we are digging the borehole. So now we will have uh, access to water to uh, start the project. So the next thing that we're going to do is to build a four feet fence on this property. A four feet fence on this property. So after this, we have secured the land and then the next thing is for us to do the proper building so as of now so as of now this is the experience. you have to dig more and look for the clean water so if you can see these ones the water that is coming or the sun that is coming from down there is kind of like uh wet but we need to get the water so we are still digging i thought we've already found them i'm so excited Unfortunately, unfortunately, we dig from morning to it's one o'clock my time and we still didn't find. We found water, but when they keep digging, uh, they, they say something like it keeps in. So you still have dirty water coming, you still have muddy water coming in, which is not so good. So we spoke to the brother and we have to find a different location. But it looks like they are saying whatever soil formation we found down there might be the same up here so they don't want to come up here and dig this means that uh we would have to find a way to bring water here and since this didn't work we have to change location and we can't dig in somebody's location or somebody's plot and then bring the water pump the water up onto somebody's it, it doesn't work like that so today sunday uh we tried to get water but it looks like this part didn't have water so we need to move on and go somewhere else. Thank you very much for checking me. Hey, so this is a neem tree. Yes, this one. I have it in my house. I've already told you where I live. Uh, my dad got this from his dad. That is my grandma, my grandpa. And I am now holding on to it. So maybe when I die, my children will also come and take over. It's like generational, whatever thing. So at the end of the video that you saw, we couldn't get water at that particular place so then the following week we had to steady the terrain again and then we went a little bit up on the same plot and guess what we had water so right now we have water at where we were digging i mean that plot that we were digging so this beautiful thing that has happened so basically sometimes when you try digging somewhere else you might not get water but you have to try again so uh that is what we did and i'm the happiest person on earth because it was difficult for me to tell the client that we couldn't get water and I had already paid. I was like, damn, we needed to try again. So hey, thank you very much for checking this video out. I'm on break from school, just a 10 days break. And we started on Friday. So I think we've already, already spent like three days out of the 10 days. So very soon, next week, Tuesday, I would be going back to the classroom. It's not easy.